Yo guys and welcome to my review of episode 28 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush The duel between uh, Sokka and Yuhi Now I will not lie, I am still recovering, I am still very sick uh, But I should hopefully be better in the next few days But since I have a little bit of time, I guess I am able to at least record this So. That's fine. Personally, I love this episode. I honestly can't remember the last time I consistently laughed this much at an episode. From Asaka paying off Manya and Bochi to stay on the ship, to Galleon laying down when he's supposed to switch in defense, mo in defense mode, to Yuamu doing the life point counter every time that Yuhi took damage. It's it's such a simple concept, but I love it so much. Plot-wise, there wasn't too much. We do know now that the ship is going towards um, the Great King of Terror, right? The plan is for UTS and uh, you know, the Rovian bandits and everyone to try to take the King of Terror down together. The only interaction that kind of I felt odd was that Udius didn't ask Goha Yuna for his dual disc back. I mean, I, I guess she did win it fairly, it just it feels weird. Uh, and I, now we know that uh, next episode Udius is dueling. And we saw her in the preview, so she might give him a dual disc back, but most likely, most likely he will just duel with uh, Val Valgear, uh, like you know, every time before. But um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, I guess. Now this is actually not the first time that we've had a tabletop duel in uh, the Rush era. Uh, we've had two in sevens. One being in the season finale, uh, obviously Yuga Luke, and the other one uh, being kind of toward the end of the show, I guess not really though, uh, being the Mimi Swirly duel that happened in that library. But apart from that, uh, you know, I don't think there were any other ones. Uh, but one thing that we haven't had before, at least. I can't remember it, is uh, having one person actually do a tabletop duel while the other one is using a dual disc. That's something that's very unique and as I said in the season finale, whenever they do something that none of the other shows have done, it's really cool because you know, you don't think that there are things that the other shows haven't done, so kind of a cool idea. So one cool thing that they did give us in this episode was the names of all the variants at UTS. Uh, which kind of made sense, right, with the title we knew that the episode was called UTS 8 Fight. So it, it makes sense, uh, before we only knew Galliant's variant's name since he dueled. So this was cool. Another interesting thing uh, was that they did give us a little bit of history where Yuamu explains how they used to keep track of life points before, which is, again, a really nice thing. Also, interestingly, uh, Asana explains uh, about the dual discs that they were made in uh, Matsuba, or I guess by Matsuba, but their concept, or I guess design, wasn't made by them, so the question at that point becomes very clear. Is it either Goha Yuna or whoever helped Goha Yuna create Rajdos, aka Yuga? But yeah, overall, uh, a very funny episode, and you know, it does give us information uh, in it, unlike last week's where we basically just got nothing, uh, this does set up a lot for the future and uh, 
we know that I think the next two episodes won't have anything crazy uh, but right because now we have the UDS duel next week and then you are moves the week after that but then we are confirmed getting into the great king of terror storyline uh, from the summaries that we got last uh, or yeah a few days ago uh, we know that so I'm very excited we just have to push through these two weeks of these kind of weird duels and uh, yeah tell me what you guys think in the comments how did you like this episode did you feel it was better or worse than last week's one and uh, I guess we'll see you guys next week